The use of immunosuppressive therapies in patients with kidney transplants has reduced the incidence of allograft rejection. The current standard of care immunosuppressive therapy includes calcineurin inhibitors, such as cyclosporin, plus anti-proliferative drugs with or without maintenance glucocorticoids. However, calcineurin inhibitor-based regimens may not adequately preserve allograft function. In this seven-year extension of a previously published three-year randomized trial, Investigators compared the ability of bilatacept and cyclosporin to preserve allograft survival and function. Bilatacept is a fusion protein composed of the FC fragment of human IgG1 linked to the extracellular domain of CTLA-4. It blocks T-cell co-stimulation, thereby selectively inhibiting T-cell activation. 666 patients who had received a kidney transplant from a living or deceased donor were randomized to maintenance treatment including a cyclosporin-based regimen, a less intense bilatacept-based regimen, or a more intense bilatacept-based regimen as primary immunosuppression. All patients received basiliximab induction and mycophenolate mofetil and glucocorticoid adjunctive maintenance therapy. At the end of seven years of follow-up, the bilatacept regimens were more effective than the cyclosporin regimen. The estimated rates of death or allograft loss were about 22% in the cyclosporin group and about 13% in each of the bilatacept groups. The estimated glomerular filtration rate was also higher with bilatacept than with cyclosporin, suggesting that bilatacept may be less nephrotoxic. The cumulative frequency of serious adverse events was similar across all three groups. Thus, treatment with bilatacept as compared with cyclosporin reduced the risk of graft loss or death after kidney transplantation. Full study results are available at NEJM.org.